There's so many digital modes out there, it's a bit hard to keep up. They've got different reasons for existing. For instance, Whisper takes two minutes to send anything. You just send your call sign, your output power, and your grid locator. It's a great beaconing mode, and really good when conditions are poor and nothing else gets through. But you can't have a proper contact with it. That's where FT8 comes in. Enormously popular, you can have an exchange with a station with transmissions in 15 second blocks. You send your call sign, basically a signal to noise ratio report, and your grid locator. That's pretty much it. There's no freeform text. That's where JS8 call comes in. Like FT8, transmissions are in 15 second blocks. But unlike FT8, there's freeform text. So it's a really good conversational mode. It's far more human and less robotic than FT8, and I think more people will be coming over to it. It reminds me a lot of the old PSK31, whose usage has diminished since FT8 took centre stage. Or even a CW contact, it seems to be about that speed. Well, this is my first contact with JS8 call. With VK3YPE, only about 10 kilometers down the road. I downloaded the JS8 call software. I'll give you the links below. And so far, I'm very impressed with it. Like FT8, transmissions are in 15 second blocks. But unlike FT8, you can type as long as you want here and your transmissions will go into several consecutive blocks. Here's one coming through right now from VK3YPE. You can see where it stopped mid-sentence and we're just waiting for another block. I just interrupted the signal for a short time and we'll see if I lose anything as a result. I'm running 5 watts on 80 meters using the FT817. The interface cable you see was described in a previous video. There's an answer to my question. I asked if it was as good as FT8, and it appears to be. Not as many operators, but I think that will change. Apart from being a chat mode, there's other features of JS8. For instance, you can put out calls and get automated stations coming back to you. They're not contacts, but they do prove that you have been detected, complete with a signal to noise ratio report. What you see in black is VK2WB coming back to me, giving a signal to noise ratio report of minus 7 dB. What's the summary? If you want to quickly make rubber stamp contacts, then FT8 is still the way to go. But if you prefer more leisurely QSOs and ones where you can rag chew, then JS8 Call has a lot going for it. It reminds me a lot of PSK31 or even a slow speed CW contact. So there it is. Hop over to the JS8 Core website, download it, and give it a go. I think you'll be pleased that you did.